Today's Thank you. throwback. Thank you for having me. Today's throwback. The 1949 Enugu Coal Riot. The Enugu Coal Riot of 1949 ignited like a fire, like a fiery storm. Fueled by the searing injustice and oppression endured by the mainly Igbo local coal miners of Enugu, this pivotal moment in history was not merely an act of civil disorderliness or riot, it was a resounding cry for freedom, justice, and the dismantling of colonial exploitation. For far too long, the God-given rich resources buried within the earth have been extracted by the oppressed hands of local workers only to line the pockets of colonial authorities and the racist mining companies, leaving the overtly discriminated miners and their families languishing in poverty and despair. Their labor was ruthlessly exploited, their rights trampled upon, and their voices silenced under the weight of colonial tyranny. In November 1949, a labor union dispute was raised by the Nigeria African Mine Workers Union at the British-owned Denugu Colliery, which had coal mines in places such as Obweti, Udi, and Iva Valley. Over unfair dismissals, wages, and poor working conditions, the spirit of resistance burned fiercely within the hearts within the hearts of the coal miners erupting into courageous uprising that shook the foundations of colonial rule. The miners, emboldened by a collective yearning for dignity and justice, took to the streets, their demands reverberating through the air like thunderclaps in the midst of a tempest. Their voices, once subdued by the weight of oppression, now rose in unison, echoing the cries of generations oppressed by colonial greed. They demanded, they demanded fair wages, women working conditions, and the recognition of their fundamental rights as workers. But their cries did not stop there. They, inter they in intertwined with the resounding call for self-determination and freedom from the chains of colonial subjugation. In response, the colonial authorities unleashed their brutal force, seeking to crush the flames of dissent with violence and intimidation. But the courageous miners, fueled by a relentless spirit of defiance, stood resolute in the face of brutality. They refused to be cowed into submission, igniting a fierce resistance that transcended the picket, picket lines and spilled into the streets, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a people yearning to be free. The Enugu Coal Riot was not merely a labor dispute. It was a battle cry for liberation a stark declaration that the workers of Nigeria would no longer tolerate the shackles of colonial oppression. The, re the resonating clash between the forces of colonial repression and the unyielding spirit of the miners bore witness to the aspiration of an entire nation, awakening a fervent desire for self-rule and independence. The aftermath of the Enugu Coal Riot was marked by the lingering echoes of the fans and the reverberations of old. The colonial administration found itself besieged by mounting pressure to address the grievances of the miners and confront the broader cause for autonomy and self-governance. The riot had become a catalyst for a burgeoning nationalist movement, an indomitable force that could not be extinguished. The legacy of the Enugu Coal Riot endures as a testament to the resilience and courage of the Nigerian people in the face of oppression. It stands as a timeless reminder of the unyielding spirit of those who refuse to be subjugated and as an enduring symbol of the unrelenting struggle for workers' rights, social justice, and national liberation. The Enugu Coal Riot of 1949 was not a fleeting moment in history. It was a roaring fire that illuminated the path to a future where the chains of colonialism will be shattered and the voice of the people will resound with unwavering, clar unwavering clarity. He forged, an, he forged an indelible mark on the honors of Nigeria's history, a mark that speaks of courage, solidarity, and the timeless pursuit of freedom. And that's the show for tonight. I am Bola Oba. Have a good